pleasure to talk to you today. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself and what robotics online intelligence does? Sure, so I'm Robert Chemniak. I'm the founder of Robotic Online Intelligence, or ROI in short. So we are in the business of automation of research. So if you can think of it on one hand as building AI agents and robo analysts that can augment all the human analysts, it's kind of one of the things we pursue. And on the other hand, uh, for us, it's about automation of data extraction. So many companies have an issue where they have a lot of unstructured content and they want to build structured databases and we help achieve that. Okay. Um, could you describe to us a few use cases of your service? Sure. So um, um, in those two categories, so on one hand, um, we have um, clients who are data companies. And typically the challenge there is that there's a lot of manual work done by the human analysts in the collection, filtering of unstructured information on the one hand, and then extraction, that extraction of unstructured uh, text into specific data points. Um, uh, so that's one, one group. Um, uh, and then on the other hand, for uh, research firms or investment firms, uh, we would help with automation of market intelligence. So for example, if you think of a sector like China property, um, we would build what we call robo-analysts who would scan through um, news announcements about new policies. And then the, the digital junior analysts would summarize and synthesize that very quickly from all kinds of local sources. Right. So we have one last question for you. Um, how do you apply uh, large language models in your work? Could you give us like more details on that? Sure. So historically, we've been doing it the, the whole business for now almost six years. And we started writing our own software for our own use as a research firm even before. So build for yourself first, then bring to clients. And uh, actually, originally, it was much more about the workflow, about automation, the more classic tools of, you know, web scraping, classification, NLP. But in the last year, what the large language models, so LLMs, allow us to do is more um, a direct extraction of that information. So if you imagine a very specific use case where you have uh, an article or PDF documents or SEC filing on one hand, and on the other hand, you have 20 fields you want to fill in, the LLM can actually take that unstructured text and populate those fields. And it's a beautiful case, works quite well, but it needs to be augmented with quite a lot of code and fine tuning, right? That's one, and then less structured when you think of summarization, good old summarization. So if somebody is monitoring you know, the 30, 40 companies that do stuff in AI now, and you want to have a daily summary of the latest news announcements from them, synthesize, summarize, um, that's what LLMs can now easily do. That's really good to hear. Thank you so much. Thank you.